This is a new high pressure pump on the market. It's from Sevlor, but it's actually made by Coleman. Um, I believe Coleman makes a lot of products for Sevlor. Um, what's so great about this high pressure pump? It's for inflatables. It's kind of one that lets you uh, use it for all your inflatables, even the high pressure ones. And at a price point between, I think I paid $56.90 for it. Um, most of the high pressure pumps that inflate uh, high pressure inflatable clear up to 15 PSI. If any of you guys have ever looked for them, they run clear up to $160, $170. And if you've got a rechargeable battery, uh, you're looking at like $270. So for $60 bucks for a pump that is dual cylinder, so it has the high volume cylinder for the low and then kicks to the high pressure for the high. Um, it also has a digital readout on it so that you can set the pressure and then when it re reaches the desired pressure then it'll stop. Uh, you can't beat that for like 60 bucks. So we're going to try it out and see how it works. Okay so here the pump is out of the box and what you get with it. Um, you get an extension hose so you have two hoses that you can put together. Um, it has all the adapters for uh, the double lock, the mini double lock, Boston valves, and the pinch valve adapters. And there's the unit. You can see uh, the LCD screen and how you set it. And on the bottom of it, that's where your DC plug is. You just plug it into your cigarette lighter. And you could probably also get an adapter to plug that in there and then use battery clips, which I may do. Let's see how it works. And then you get uh, some pa some of your standard paperwork, your one-year warranty paper, your instruction manual. And the next thing to do is try it out. Okay, so we're going to see how it goes. Uh, this is your button to start the inflation. This button here changes it to uh, PSI, bar, or KPA, whichever setting you want to use. Um, we're going to set the side tubes at 3.2. Just put it to 3.2 and push it. You'll notice that when it gets to uh, where it's starting to get to the high pressure, then what it's going to do is it's going to show on the pressure gauge it going up and then it'll shut off. So I'll zoom in on that when it gets here and starts going to high pressure. It's at 3.2, 3.25. There's one tube. We'll do the other tube and then I'll show you guys doing the floor. And I'm going to go to 7 PSI on it. Okay, next we're going to do the uh, drop stitch floor. And I usually run it at 7. So we're going to set it here to. Now I have noticed that the uh, the pump kind of when it starts to get to the higher pressures it slows down a little bit and it's plugged into the cigarette lighter. I don't know if that's because the car is not running or not. So when I do the high pressure floor here this time to 7, I'm going to start the car and let it run and then see if the pump slows down like it did without the car running. See if it's just the uh, issue with the battery drawing current. Okay, so the car is running this time. Sure, we're set to seven. We're set to seven. And here we go.
11 PSI. So it did still slow down a little bit. I don't think it's as noticeable um, with the car not running. I also have some battery clips that uh, I can connect to the car and then it has a cigarette lighter and jack on it so I could connect it directly to the battery. I may try that later. But I'm telling you for the price point, for $57, you can't beat that. Sevler and Coleman have knocked it out of the park on that one. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video.